My name is Brett, and we're coming to you from Savoy Road. I've got a sugar maple here. This time of year, it's a little hard to tell which trees are which, so it's helpful to look at branches and bark. If you look at the crown of this sugar maple, you can see that the branches grow opposite of each other. Trees like maples, ashes, dogwoods, and buckeyes have branches that grow opposite, opposite of each other. And the way I can help myself remember that is the acronym Mad Buck. Another way to tell that this is a sugar maple is because of the bark. It's a dark gray and there's really long irregular fissures so that it looks almost like long scales here on the sugar maple. Sugar maples are some of the longest growing maples and this one even has moss growing on it. Um, I wanted to ask a question. Why would there be so many of these old sugar maples growing along Savoy Road here? That's not the only one. As we walk, walk along Savoy Road, you can see a number of really old sugar maples. So to answer that question, maybe it would be helpful to know some of the human uses for sugar maples. First, sugar maples provide wood to make really nice furniture. Uh, a second way that they're useful is the ash from the firewood can be boiled into lye, which is then used to make soap. And a final use for sugar maples, and probably the best known use, is the sap. It can be drank um, plain, or it can be boiled down into maple syrup. So I'll ask the question again, why might there be so many sugar maples growing along Savoy Road here? I think it would be fair to say that some of these old sugar maples were planted along the road so that farmers could easily access them and get the sap from them. It takes about 32 to 40 gallons of sugar maple sap to boil down into one gallon of maple syrup. And so it's a really large undertaking. And usually it happens around uh, February and March that this sap gets gathered up, taken to small buildings because there would be so many gallons in these large vats, and fires would be started underneath them to help boil it down in these large metal pans. And so this time of year up here in the woods, you can um, not smell it anymore, but in the February, um, it's very common to see sugaring happening all across the mountain. If you've ever eaten a meal here at uh, Manus Education Center and you've had maple syrup, you can guarantee that it's been fresh and real maple syrup. And I wanted to end on a different question. Back in New York City, uh, the New York City street tree map is a really easy way to tell what the street trees are outside in your neighborhood. And ask yourself, are there patterns to the way trees are growing in my neighborhood? Is there a reason for why certain trees would be growing next to each other? And if so, what are those reasons?